Hey guys, Bushcraft Ted here. I had plans to make a totally different video, but unfortunately, Florida had other plans. So instead, I'm going to give you a tour of some of the things in my survival pack. So the first thing I'll start with is my hatchet. Every survival bag should have a good hatchet. I have a Fiskars brand here, and it works very well for me. You can see I've used it quite a bit. It has the hammer head on one end, which I've used a lot, you can, you can tell. <laughs> it's got a very strong handle. I've chopped a lot of trees with this thing. It, it's very good. If you go pick up a hatchet, I highly recommend Fisker to brand. Next, my shovel. It's a Walmart shovel, but I have used it and it works very well. It looks large, but it folds down, so it will fit very easily into your pack. I'll show you now. It gets very small. Now, always remember, when you're packing your survival pack, always put the heavier things towards your back and the lighter things towards the front of your pack. That way you're not stuck carrying things and you're leaned over like that. Next, my saw. Again, this is a Walmart saw, but it works very well. I've cut down a lot of trees with this too. You'll see a lot of the things I have in this bag are pretty beat up, but I have used them a lot. I have the miniature one too. Haven't used that one as much. <laughs> Next, we'll go to the multi-tool. This is a Danko brand. I haven't had any issues with it yet. It seems like it's a pretty good multi-tool. Um, it, it has everything. You know what comes on a multi-tool. So. <laughs> um, next, we will go to the survival kit. I got this on Amazon. It has quite a bit in it. You got the flashlight. Works very well, very bright. Comes with a knife, good knife. Comes with a pen with a window breaker. A wire saw, which I have used, it works very well. And then the ferro rod. You guys know about the ferro rod. I'll show you that. Next, we have the mess kit. I haven't used this mess kit yet, but it, seem, it seems to me like it'll work pretty well. You got your bowl, your cup, your frying pan, and your pot to boil some water. Can't wait to try that out. Paracord. Must have for any survival bag. There's so many uses for it. Always have paracord in your survival bag. And what survival pack would what survival pack would not have a sharpening stone? I've used this on every one of these tools and it sharpens very well if you know how to use it. The last thing I'm going to show you today will be my fire bow. Paracord. Find any stick with, with curve on it. Tie your paracord on either end. Basically the same bow you would use if you, were, if you had a bow and arrow. Get a flat board or flat log or anything flat because I'll show you why in a moment. You want to have your bearing block or a soda can or a flat rock, something you can use on the other side of the spindle. I'll show you 
how to use it. I've actually made quite a few fires, as you can see. I've made a few fires with this. So I'll show you a quick preview of how this is supposed to work. When I was showing you the, the, the items in the fire bow, I forgot to mention the spindle. Try to find a stick as straight as possible, and you want to cut a piece about that big. Sharpen one end, well sharpen both ends actually. Don't make them super sharp, but they, they want to have a little bit of a point. Don't worry, I'm not going to catch my house on fire. I'm just showing you how this works. Put your foot on the board so it holds it in place. Take your spindle, put it in the fire bow, and wrap it around. Put your spindle into a notch. And then you just go back and forth. And as you do that over and over, it creates friction. And with friction comes heat. I'm not going to do that a whole lot because I don't want to catch my house on fire, but you get the idea. When you're making your, your, your board, always make sure you drill a hole into your board and then you cut a notch. You can see the shape here. Cut a V notch next to your hole because that catches all the, the debris that falls down and creates your coal. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys again next week.